The Ionospheric Connection Explorer ICON is a planned satellite designed to investigate changes in the Earth's ionosphere. ICON will study the interaction between Earth's weather systems and space weather driven by the Sun, and how this interaction drives turbulence in the upper atmosphere. It is hoped that a better understanding of this dynamic will mitigate its effects on communications, GPS signals, and technology in general. It is part of NASA's Explorers program and will be operated by UC Berkeley Space Sciences Laboratory. On the 12th of April 2013, NASA announced that ICON, along with Global Scale Observations of the Limb and Disk Gold, had been selected for development with the cost capped at $200 million, excluding launch costs. The principal investigator of ICON is Thomas Immel at the University of California, Berkeley. ICON was originally scheduled to launch in December 2017 and has been repeatedly delayed because of problems with its Pegasus XL rocket. Most recently, it was due to launch on the 26th of October 2018, but the launch was postponed to the 7th of November 2018. Topic overview. Once launched, ICON will perform a two-year mission to observe conditions in both the thermosphere and ionosphere. ICON will be equipped with four instruments. A Michelson interferometer, built by the United States Naval Research Laboratory, will measure the winds and temperatures in the thermosphere. An ion drift meter, built by UT Dallas, will measure the motion of charged particles in the ionosphere. And two ultraviolet imagers built at UC Berkeley will observe the airglow layers in the upper atmosphere in order to determine both ionospheric and thermospheric density and composition. Many low Earth orbiting satellites, including the International Space Station, fly through the ionosphere and can be affected by its changing electric and magnetic fields. The ionosphere also acts as a conduit for many communications signals, such as radio waves and the signals that make GPS systems work. The ionosphere is where space weather manifests, creating unpredicted conditions such as electric currents that can cause electrical charging of satellites, changing density that can affect satellite orbits, and shifting magnetic fields that can induce current in power systems, causing strain, disrupt communications and navigation or even blackouts. Improved understanding of this environment can help predict such events and improve satellite design. Topic. Launch planning. ICON was originally scheduled to launch in December 2017 and has been repeatedly delayed because of problems with its Pegasus XL rocket. Most recently, it was due to launch on 26 October 2018 but the launch was postponed indefinitely at that time. In 2017, ICON was going to be launched from Kwajalein Atoll in the Pacific. When that was launch was scrubbed, it was possible it to ferry the launch vehicle using the air launch aircraft Stargazer back to the United States where a new launch site was chosen, Cape Canaveral in Florida. The October 2018 launch was to be from Cape Canaveral, Florida before issues were detected with some new components. Whereas the delay in 2017 had to do concerns over the rocket aircraft separation system, the launch system has a good track record launching small science payloads for NASA, and just had a successful launch in December 2016. The launch system has placed more than 80 satellites in low orbit since its first in 1990. Launch windows 2017, Kwajalein Atoll, Pacific Ocean June 2018, Kwajalein Atoll October 2018, Cape Canaveral, FL Northrop Grumman's Pegasus XL rocket is carried aloft by the Stargazer aircraft to approximately 40,000 feet over the open ocean, where it is released and free falls five seconds before igniting its first stage rocket motor. The aircraft can also ferry the launch vehicle to different sites. Topic. Science payload ICON carries four scientific instruments designed to image even the faintest plasma or airglow to build up a picture of the ionosphere's density, composition and structure. The complete instrument payload has a mass of 130 kg 290 pounds and are listed below Michelson Interferometer for Global High Resolution Thermospheric Imaging MIGHTI. Ion Velocity Meter IVM is an ion drift meter Extreme ultraviolet EUV, an imager. Far ultraviolet FUV, an imager. My T was developed at the United States Naval Research Laboratory, IVM at the University of Texas, and EUV and FUV were developed at the University of California. 
MIGHTI measures wind speed and temperature between 90 to 300 km in altitude. The velocity measurements are gathered by observing the Doppler shift in the red and green lines of atomic oxygen. This is done with the Doppler asymmetric spatial heterodyne dash, which uses A-shell gratings. The temperature measurements are done by photometric observations with a CCD. MIGHTI is designed to detect wind speeds as low as 10 miles per hour even though the spacecraft would be traveling at over 14,000 miles per hour to stay in orbit. IVM collects in situ data about ions in the local environment around the spacecraft, whereas EUV and FUV are cameras. EUV is designed to observe height and density of the daytime ionosphere, and detect the glow of oxygen. The solar panels produce 780 watts, but the instrument's power consumption ranges between 209 to 265 watts when in science mode. References External links Media related to Ionospheric Connection Explorer at Wikimedia Commons ICON website by NASA ICON website by University of California, Berkeley <laughs>